apartment 1313. God, I remember it very well. It was a really hot summer that year. Nobody talks about what happened in there. I don't think she knew what was about to happen. That was the last time I saw her. This documentary is made possible thanks to our sponsor, Opera GX. Now you all probably know of Opera GX, the first and best gaming browser. But did you know of these features? Opera has a hot tabs killer. This feature allows you to see the most resource draining tabs and close them to make sure the browser doesn't overburden the PC or laptop. And by close them, I mean slash them with a sword. You can also have custom animated wallpapers. Oh yes, you heard that right. Such a nice feature. To use it, click Easy Setup and then click Get More Wallpapers. It'll bring you to the wallpaper section on the Opera add-on site where you just select Animated. You can choose from loads and loads and loads of wallpapers and after hours of indecision due to the sheer amount of options this has to offer, you succumb to this. While it's pleasant, you try and find something else because you want some individuality, but nothing matters anymore, so you browse for hours and are stuck in a vicious loop from which you cannot get out of. Anyways, Opera has its own extension store, but now it's also compatible with Google Chrome extensions. Just install the Install Chrome Extensions add-on from the Opera add-on store and then click Add to Opera button and unlock all of Google Chrome's extensions. Opera also allows you to quickly import your settings, browser history, bookmarks and cookies from another browser. Just go to Browser Settings, scroll all the way down to Synchronization, choose the browser from where you want to import the settings and click Import. Opera has an app for Android and iOS where you can browse just as you would on your PC. It has different skins you can use and on the front page a game release calendar, gaming news and free mobile games. But get this, it has a flow feature where you can have a private end-to-end -end encrypted conversation with yourself to send files, videos, links and notes between browsers from your phone to PC and vice versa. So if you guys enjoy talking to yourself as much as I do, you should get this. If you want all of this and more, and would like to avoid being abducted by aliens at the hands of Don and the Caliente sisters, then download Opera GX. Because guess what guys, it's absolutely free. I mean, you literally cannot make this up. The link will be in the description and the comments and on the screen right here if you want to just write it in into your browser. I'm a, just click the link below. I think it was a Monday or um, a Tuesday when she first moved in. I saw her from my window, which overlooked the entrance to the building. She told me later she'd come all the way from Sim Valley to San Machino. So it was a big move. First time I met Jordan Mare was that same day that she moved in. I just remember it being like a really hot summer's day. Her family was outside with her, and she was getting help, I think, from her dad. She was shy. She didn't say much. And then later, we actually became really good friends. And then after the night of the 13th, she just disappeared, and we never heard from her again.
Traces of a body have been found in a fashion district apartment earlier this morning. Jordan was really cool. We went one night at Planet Honey Pop. It was the place to be that night, according to Penny. We were all really good friends. Then Penny got us that cool gig. When the city of Samishuno approached me to make a video for their YouTube channel, I wasn't really that surprised. I have 10 million followers, so they reached out to me through my agent and asked me if I could put together an energetic group of Sims to film an exciting new video for the city of Samishuno. I jumped at the idea. It was a really good career move for me. Jordan was great. She was doing so well and the crew loved her. Everything was going fine. They wanted to make a, a whole big commercial for San Mishuno and the apartments, so they decided to focus on Jordan. She was relatable, you know? She was just this kid who moved in from Sim Valley all the way to this big city. They wanted Sims to like relate and make the big move themselves. I totally get why the city wanted to make a video on how cool San Myshuno is. Good publicity for them. They were bleeding money. As if we don't pay enough in taxes here already. When Penny asked me, I was so happy, you know, I was in between jobs at the time. Well, I still am. It, it was great. I remember the night of the 13th like it was yesterday. Jordan was there. The first time I met her was a few months back. We hit it off straight away. Yeah, we were romantically involved. She managed to find the apartment through one of her mom's friends, who works in the fashion district. It's really tough to find an apartment in San Maishuno. The fashion district is one of those places you need contacts to get anywhere. It was dirt cheap, came ready furnished, so it was perfect for her, since she was broke. She was so excited to start out her life in San Maishuno, until neither of us heard from her again. What's your emergency? Oh my god, please send help. There's been a murder here. Tell me where you are. I'm, I'm in my apartment, 1313 21 Sheik Street. Please come quick. Ma'am, can you describe this situation? On the night of the 13th, sometime between the hours of 2 and 4 a.m., a Miss Jordan Mayer called 911. Traces of a body have been found in a fashion district apartment earlier this morning. The Sim who found it, Jordan Mayer, had just moved in not long ago from Sim Valley. I was the first on the scene. This is one of those cases that always stood out in my career. Since then, I haven't been able to step foot on a crime scene. As soon as I came in, Miss Mayer was hysterical. It took both me and my partner to calm her down. When she calmed down and was removed from the crime scene, that's when it hit me. It's a smell I'll never forget. She would always complain about her apartment. She kept on saying there was like this weird smell. I mean, to be honest, that's why none of us ever hung out at her place. Like we'd either go to my place or Jared's. I remember the night of the 13th. That's when she knocked on my door around two or 3 a.m. That's um, when it happened. 1821 Sheik Street, please come quick. Ma'am, can you describe this situation? There's, there's an outline of a body here, in chalk. Police say the crime scene, which dates back to 2015, was not cleaned properly by the crime scene cleaner company, which led to Miss Mayer trying to identify a rotting smell and finding the chalk outline under her rug after trying to redecorate. 
Miss Mayor refuses to comment at this present time. I mean, come to think of it now, she might have just moved out since the cleanup crew never did their job properly. I don't know how anyone could live there. Absolutely not. I mean, we heard nothing from her about moving. Jared was heartbroken. She wouldn't have done that to him or us. I mean, she would have at least said goodbye. There were rumors that someone saw her at the gallery. It's this insane place for Sims to go, like who are on the run or haven't been able to find a place to live. It's kind of like a shelter, a freaky place. I really don't know about that. I mean, I definitely heard it as a rumor, but she would have said something. Police have yet to release the information regarding the crime scene that took place in 1313. 